Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another epic video for you guys. So we have another tournament gameplay video. Now I know you guys love this and we actually had a really good set of matches. Now before I get into the video, I want to personally thank Code Magic for putting this tournament together. It is one of the few tournaments and actual major tournaments a year where we see both Europe and North America playing in the same tourney. Um, it's really, really hype and it's going to be on their YouTube channel. So make sure you guys check it out. I'm going to put their link in the description below as well as their Twitter. So make sure to sub and follow them. Huge thank you to them and for Brawl Stars France for also putting this together but with that being said we're going to show you guys my matches versus no you esports i know you esports was formerly ix circles kangarmo tuni luki and slash four very good players you guys know them very well they are always on the channel facing us in competitive or scrims or something so with that being said let's wait no longer let's hop into the games and let's show you guys what happened okay so immediately jumping into the first game you guys are going to see we're going to be going with poco rosa and carl and they're going to be going with carl mr p and m's now, the reason we went with this comp is because usually we will be going in Gene mid on this map, but we had a sneaky suspicion that they were going to go Mr. P, which does directly counter uh, Gene. And we also had a pretty, pretty good suspicion that they were going to be running no wall breakers, which means Rose's gadget and the grass can just completely take over the entirety of the map. So that's what we decided to do. We decided to play a Rosa Poco comp because we thought we can just bully them with it. So you guys can already see we've connected the entirety of the grass. So myself and Alec can kind of just sneak around and do whatever. Um, they're also running in M's. So something that's really important is that I don't go on the M's lane. So with the grass being here, it is kind of hard to switch lanes and knowing where everybody is. But we're going to get a switch once we notice that uh, Slash is switching lanes. I'm going to pop my super over there. I'm going to be able to take out King Garmo. Uh, Alec is doing a really good job. I'm going to go down over there. OG and Alec are going to get that pinch on Slash. And they're going to be able to get that really, really easy kill. Now we have Toonie over here in mid. Alec does have a gem, but he is going to go down. OG is going to go and retrieve it. And then I'm going to go sneak up on this right side. I see Kang, so I'm going to pop my super right beside him. Able to get that kill. I'm able to get my super back from Slash. I probably should have used it there to stay alive. I'm not sure if it was the use. But anyways, we're up 7-4. I didn't really want to waste it, so I didn't end up using it. Slash is coming down that right side, so I got to start going up the left now. They put their Mr. P turret out, and we're pretty... We're, we're in a pretty bad spot, so what I got to do is kind of just use my super. Um, even if I'm not going to get a kill, I know just using my super is going to help out with backing them up. So we do get that done. Uh, Slash is going to take me out, but they're all focused on me trying to take me out. And Alex is going to walk in and get two gems. So all we need is one more gem now in order to get the countdown. So I'm just chilling on this left side. I'm kind of just vibing. I'm going to just walk through the middle, pop my super. Slash is out of gadgets as he used them both earlier in the game. We're going to be able to get that kill on Slash. And we're going to get the countdown. Alec and OG are going to be able to kill Toonie. And now I'm, I'm a free man. I can die if I want. I could have taken out Kang over there, but instead I decided to go back and heal a little bit. Reason being, seven seconds left. If I start pushing up, even at half health, they're going to have to use their shots on me. And there is no way that they can kill me and then move ahead and go and kill Alec and OG. And that is going to be the first game over. So it's going to be one to nothing lead for us. Everything is a best of one map. So we're going to be playing five maps, maps, all a best of one. It's going to be one to nothing for us. We're going to hop over onto the next map. Let's show you guys what happened. So jumping straight into the next game, we're going to be running again a Poco double tank comp. So we're going to be going BB, Jackie, and Poco. And they're going to be going with the Jackie, Max, and Mr. P. Now, reason being because we didn't really know what they were going to run. You can run a tankier comp on this map, or you can kind of run something softer. And we didn't really know what to do. We didn't really know what they were going to run. So we just decided to go with the double tank before we get double tanked on. So they're going to have really good defense over there. They're going to be able to get kills. And within the first 20 seconds, their entire team does have super. So this is a little bit scary for us. But uh, we are in a pretty good position. Uh, we are happy with the comp that we're facing. We do feel like we can beat this. Toonie does use super. I'm able to get that uh, that knockback over there. We're able to kill two of them. And now we're going to move up the map. Alec is going to pass me the ball. And I do have the shield. Unfortunately, I don't have speed. Uh, undecided which one would have been better. But I get my shield. And I'm actually able to score that goal somehow. And it's going to be one to nothing for us 45 seconds in. So it's looking pretty good. Alex got a super. OG is doing a great job just healing everyone. Uh, kind of a waste of super over there by Kangarmo. Slash with a really good gadget. I'm going to be able to get that kill. And maybe I might have been able to get this goal. I don't know. I walk up. I try and score. But good save by Kang. Good super by Toonie. And they're able to get that save. We have pretty good possession right now. A minute 20 left in the game. So things are actually looking pretty good. We're pretty confident as of right now. Uh, we do have position even though I'm dead. Alex doing a really good job. Toonie does use his final gadget right there. Um, I believe Alec gets the kill. He is going to be able to. And right here, I made a misplay. I was going to pass the ball to Alec. They get a really good save. I give Slash Super. And OG's Poco just isn't able to do anything. I kind of threw that over there. 
big bonehead play by Bobby BS. And they're going to be able to tie up the game one to one with one minute left. So I'm going to try going up this left side over here. It is a little bit hard to lane against the Jackie as a BB just because to get one shot off that Jackie also is going to hit a shot on us. Um, I'm able to get my bubble over there and also hit the Mr. P Porter one time. Um, I'm kind of just chilling right now thinking about using my bubble. I end up using it. Uh, I get a couple hits over there. I end up getting three hits. So that's pretty good value for a bubble. Um, I'm able to hit Toonie over there as well. So again, getting pretty good value. Really good heal over there by OG. We're able to kill Kang with that bubble. And we're able to kill Toonie as well. So things are actually looking pretty good here. Um, I'm able to pass the ball to OG. OG is going to try and pass it to Alec. That didn't really work out as we wanted to. And they're able to get some speed. So I'm going to move up over here. Uh, I probably should have been able to score. I'm not sure if it would have went in, but I rushed the shot a little bit, hit the wall. Um, and 10 seconds left. The game is going to go to overtime as they corner the ball. OG is not going to waste his heal. He's not going to be able to stay alive in that situation. And the game is going to go to overtime. Now, I'm going to get pulled in over there by the Jackie. Not much of an issue as I just push it away. Um, Alec is trying to make a play. They try to make a play for the goal over there. Um, not going to be able to do anything. Unfortunately, OG gets a little bit too close. He's not able to stay alive. I'm able to get my bubble and get one kill. Alec almost gets a kill and I'm halfway through my swing. Not able to get the kill. And Kang is going to put that ball in the net. And they're going to take the one to, well, the two to one win, but tie up the set at one to one. Now we were pretty confident. If we can go back, we'd probably beat this comp seven or eight out of 10 times, but they did get the better of us this game. So we got to hop onto the next game. Bounty Canal Grande. Let's hop into it. Show you guys what happened again. So going into our next game, we're going to be going with Gene, Ems, and Mr. P. Now, again, there's a lot of different options you can run on this map. Uh, we didn't want to get countered, so we kind of just ran like the best of both worlds. So I'm going to be on this lane by myself. I'm able to pick up a really quick kill over there on Kang as he messed up his jump over there. And me and Alec get a really good pinch on Toonie. So really quickly into the game, it was 4 nothing. Slash is able to get a good shot. 5-3 to three as I'm able to get that first start. And now I'm on lane. I do have my super, which is really good. I love playing Gene on this map. This is one of my favorite Gene maps for sure. I'm able to sneak up over here. Going to be able to kill Kang. 7-3, to three, so a really good start for us. Um, I don't really love the B pick by them. I don't really think B is that great of a brawler on this map. Um, especially since Mr. P is kind of now meta here. And Mr. P does counter uh, B. But either way, not that bad. So we're going to be able to pull Kang again. It's going to be 9-3. to three, So really good start by myself and the team. Um, unfortunately, though, Alec is going to go down. So it's 9-5. to five. Kang does switch lanes. But even then, I'm able to get that pull on him. Going to get six stars to start off the game. And it's going to be 11-5. to five. So really good start for us over here. I'm able to get my super again. Kang's going to come on my side. But I think eventually he goes back to the other side. I'm not too sure. I think so. There's just no way Kang can kind of get over to us as I have my pull and he knows that. I'm getting a little bit aggressive. I'm trying to get a pull in. Um, it's not working out very well. OG's doing a really good job of just being on that lane by himself. Although these guys are pretty distracted by us. Toonie was going to go for a wall break, but OG's able to get the kill. I move up into a really aggro spot to try and get the kill. I pop my gadget to gain health, but Toonie does jump forward out of spawn. And he's able to get the kill over there. And I lose six stars, which brings the game to 14 to 11, which makes it really close. Um, and they have the range advantage on us right now. So we're not in a great spot. Uh, Slash does have that big shot. I'm in a kind of slow down panic position. I have to use my gadget. OG's going to use his super over there. Uh, just to kind of body block for us. I'm just chilling right here in the mid. I'm waiting for someone to get in my range. Luckily for us, Slash does get in my range. I go down. Alec can go down if he wants, but OG just has to stay alive. He's going to use that bush, hide behind that bush, and we're going to be able to win this game 17 to 14. This is a really good game. I, I definitely played a pretty good Gene here. Playing Gene all the way up to 1600 has definitely helped my Gene gameplay. But anyways, let's hop into the next game. Again, two to one lead for us. We need one more to take the W. So let's hop into it, show you guys what happened. So hopping into the next game, we're going to be going on in pit stop. Now, Heist is one of my favorite modes. I'm really comfortable on it. Um, and I really do like this map. So we're going to run Max, BB, and Daryl. Really, really good comp. Um, and they're going to be going with Max, Daryl, and Rico instead of the BB. Now, the Rico is really good here. Um, Alec is going to go down. I'm going to be able to pick up that kill on Slash, but I'm not going to be able to do anything about Kang. So I'm just going to leave Kang for Alec. OG is going to get some damage over there on the top, but they do have the damage lead on us right now. And it's looking pretty good for the other side at the moment. Slash is going to use speed. Kang is a really good Rego, by the way. So that was definitely one of the things that we should have looked out for a little bit more in this game was Kang going Rico and definitely countering it a lot more. Um, I'm going to go down over there. Alex is going to try and make a play, but unfortunately he does go down. Um, I'm not going to be able to do anything because they're just going to run away. Uh, OG gets the safe to like 37%. Um, I'm able to get the kill on Kang. I use my bubble to not allow Slash to regen, but we're kind of just chilling right now. Um, they're doing a really good job in this game. 
we're doing okay both teams are kind of just doing their best doing all right but definitely could be done better by both teams specifically us they're gonna get a really good super, really good roll, just really good plays in general. Um, and they're gonna get the save down to 4%. I'm able to get a big hit on them thanks to Alec. I'm gonna use my bubble over there and try and back them up. We can't really just go all in at the moment because we do have to hold control or else they're gonna win the game just with one super. Unfortunately though, OG does go down. Um, Kang is just bodying everyone this game to be honest. Uh, he's able to get the kill as well on Alec, and this is really looking not promising. They're all alive. We're all dead. 4% only left. Um, OG's able to make that play. I'm going to use a bubble. The save's going to be at 288, and I'm able to body block every shot, so we do still have a chance. Our save is like a sneeze away from, uh, from going down, and they're coming back to life. We're over here, but it's not looking very good for the boys right now. Um, Alec does use a gadget. Unfortunately, that gadget leads right into Kangarmo's super. OG's able to get a kill. He's gonna do like 3%, but unfortunately, he's gonna go down as well. And, you know, they're coming up. They do have that Daryl super. It's looking really, really tough for us. We can't really hold position right now. Our comp was not made for this. And they are going to get the win and tie the game up at 2-2. Two to two. So it's actually really close. Uh, well played by them. Kangarmo definitely played an absolutely cracked Gene that, or not Gene, sorry, Rico that game been playing too much gene as of late but anyways that brings it to a fifth and final set now the replay didn't work so we're gonna have to use footage from the stream now there's gonna be no voice or anything but the overlay is just gonna be a little bit different but anyways let's hop into this final game and show you guys what happened okay so going into the final game over here again I apologize for the overlay it's a little bit weird and it's also in french because it is a french tournament this is what it's going to look like for our final game so we decide we're going to be the red team by the way for this game we decided to go spike um gene and pam now the reason for this comp is we were expecting a frank um so we did decide we wanted to go spike on frank i did use my super over there on toonie knowing that he was going to be able to gadget but the reason i did it is because as you guys can see that right side is now more opened up and we want this map to be opened up because we're facing a frank so we have og in the mid right now i'm on the right side but this doesn't really make sense for us at all so instead I'm just going to say, OG, let's switch sides. Uh, it's going to be way better for us. And I'm going to be put over here onto the Barley. We're going to try pinching this uh, this Frank over here. But unfortunately, this Barley is getting us super, super, well, not us, getting me super low. The switch was kind of hard as I lost position. Alex doing a pretty good job over there on Slash. I'm just going to move over here and take out Slash's turret. Um, but the game is going to be 8-7 to seven right now. I'm going to be able to pull Slash. Going to get the kill. OG's doing a lot of work on his lane. This is a big play over here. Because OG's going to let Kangarmo survive when we could have easily gotten the kill on him. Reason being is because they have a really good attack comp. A really good defense comp. But our comp for mid control is better. So instead of just trying to get a push and defending. Or instead of letting them get the push and defend. We decided that our best chance was to just get, get a tie. And in the next minute just try and hold lane better than they can. We're doing a pretty good job at it so far. I know the bolts are kind of in a weird position, but it's 15 to 10 for us right now. Uh, we're doing a really great job right now. They do switch up the lane, so they get the Barley on OG, and they get Toonie on Alec, which is what they wanted the entire game. OG's able to take out their Barley really good. Um, OG's also able to get that kill on Slash. You guys know OG is a legendary spike. Um, we are going to kind of lose control over here. I'm going to go down to Toonie, but I think it's a little bit too late, as you guys can tell, by the bolt lead um for them to catch up we currently have 21 they have 16 only five seconds left they're gonna try their best to come back but with two seconds left there's just no way they can do it and we get a 21 bots with a tie game and a 21 bot this really is kind of game over and there's really nothing left that they can do so i'm just gonna pull kang just in case they somehow get like a barley super on safe and somehow defend this but there's no way we do like almost 100 percent damage over here they did defend it kind of well but they have like 30 percent left we have 100 and we are gonna get this fifth win and take home the first round in this epic tournament and that's gonna be it for today so i hope you guys enjoyed this first round it was a very action-packed first round again everything's gonna be on the code magic youtube so definitely make sure to check it out link is gonna be in the description below but that's gonna be it for today we have the rest of the rounds tomorrow so we're definitely gonna post some gameplay on that but we do have a really good video planned for tomorrow as well. So we have some really good content coming up for you guys. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Helps out a ton. Way more than you guys think. But that's going to be it. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.